hey how's it going everyone welcome to another video and today we are going to talk about DraftKings ticker symbol DKNG and today we have a very exciting video because today is the day that DraftKings officially goes live in the state of New York which is absolutely huge and so uh, as of 9 a.m. Eastern Time today, four companies launched mobile sports wagering in New York, and those four companies are FanDuel, uh, DraftKings, Caesar Sportsbook, and Rush Street Interactive. And so, uh, obviously, DraftKings is what we all care about. And this event is super exciting because it marks arguably the biggest day in the history of sports betting. And so here are some key facts regarding today and the historic moment that we're seeing for sports betting. And so New York is the fourth most populous state in the U.S., and is now the largest state to legalize sports betting now on the other hand new york does have a ridiculous and i mean ridiculous 51 percent tax rate on gambling revenue which is way larger than the state of new jersey which only has a 13 percent tax rate now um, a lot of people are estimating that New York won't replace New Jersey as the national leader in gross gaming revenue until around 2024, which is fine because, like I said, we're, we're in DraftKings for the long term anyway. So, I mean, th th you know, that's fine. Um, as of today, more than two dozen states have already legalized sports wagering and currently FanDuel and DraftKings have established themselves as the early market leader in mobile sports betting. Now, in 2021, U.S. gambling companies generated about $3.2 billion in total revenue from sports betting, and many investors, including myself, are counting on a wagering surge as states, including California and Texas, which are huge, prepare to vote on mobile legalization. And it is also estimated that U.S. gambling revenue could grow to nearly $17 billion by 2026, which I always say, don't judge uh, DraftKings by its current price action today. Think of where DraftKings will be by 2026, right? Like I always say this, you have to consider that sports betting is still a growing industry and we're still trying to wait for many states to legalize it. So you've got to give this industry, you know, a few years to grow. But in the meantime, you're able to get good stocks like DraftKings at a cheap price. So that's something to think about in the back of your head. And so as of right now, many states are considering legalizing sports books like DraftKings in their states and sports betting is tremendous popular in so many states and that's why I keep telling you guys to ignore all the FUD with DraftKings because the only thing stopping this company isn't the man but regulation and we just need more and more states to allow sports books to come in and they will uh, you look at states like Maryland or Louisiana where over 70% of the votes uh, supported legalized sports betting and you also got to remember this um, most states are broke because of the effects of the pandemic. And so allowing sports betting in your state is a great way to raise tax revenue and create jobs in the state. And I keep telling you guys this more and more states are going to legalize sports betting. Why? Because that's what the population wants. That's what the citizens want. And we know based on history that normally in politics especially with these local states normally what the majority wants the majority normally gets that's normally how it works and so as more and more people continue to push for sports betting in these states and uh, local leaders and things like that continue to push forward and states start realizing how much money they can generate in tax revenue you can best believe that more and more states are going to legalize sports betting so hang in there with DraftKings I know it's been rough I know earlier this week we saw DraftKings go to 23 dollars a share i should have bought more at that price but i did not so i'm stuck uh gonna have to wait and see what happens and see if it ends up going back to the 23 dollars range but uh yeah that'll go ahead and complete uh today's video thank you guys so much for watching feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one